position, velocity, and acceleration. So what if I have the acceleration function? How can I get back to the velocity function? So let's just, you know, before I even go that, go there. If I give you the position function, okay, if I give you the position function with respect to time, I can find the velocity function by just taking the uh, first derivative of that. And then if I take the derivative of the velocity function, again, I can uh, get to the acceleration function. So this is taking the derivative. I can move this way. But if I have, if I give you the acceleration function and I want to get to back to the velocity function, well, what do I need to do? Well, you got to integrate, okay? So if I integrate, if I find the integral of the acceleration um, function, I get back to the velocity function. And then if I integrate the velocity function, I can get back to the position function. So this is the main idea uh, behind uh, this uh, particular problem. You gotta know these uh, relationships because we have questions uh, related to position, and velocity, okay, 